Today, we are celebrating the launch of a brand new series of graphics cards and we're gonna be celebrating by building a build around the brand new Asus Prime RTX 4070 graphics card. Um, this is, um, they, do have, they do have a two fan version, but they, this is the launch of a three fan version, um, which means of, of course, I mean, like I said, we're, you know, it's, I know with some people, it's like three fans in terms of basically there's more cooling, again, better chance to feed it good air, um, all that sort of jam. Uh, and all in all, like I love, you know, the, the Prime series has been one of those things that like we have the Asus Prime AP201 case. So we figured we'd do kind of like a Prime build with this. We're not using a Prime motherboard because we're using a micro ATX um, uh, case, but all in all, we're gonna showcase some cool Asus products. And I'm gonna talk about uh, what we're gonna start this with. Uh, we're gonna use the Intel Core i7-14700K. Originally, when we were actually gonna do this build, um, we were gonna do an AMD 7800X 3D, um, but when we originally had said that we were to announce this, um, we were gonna basically, uh, it was going to be during Intel Gamer Days, and since we've already set this all up and everything like that, so that's why it's using a 14700K app. There is a place where you can save money on your AIO, but we wanted to showcase a new AIO, and I love it that they gave us a chance to do that. So we're gonna be using the ASUS ProArt LC360, um, we've actually covered this AIO before. It's got basically, the thing that's so crazy about it is it actually has alpha cool, like powered fans. Um, it's got that new pump. I love it. It's like minimal RGB. We have almost no RGB, which is funny because T-Man's like, go on an RGB rant and then we have a no RGB build. So I feel like I'd be kind of going bad if I started saying all that sort of stuff. Uh, for our motherboard, which I know we're going in a weird order here, we're gonna use the Tough Gaming B760M Plus Wi-Fi 2, um, the micro ATX. Um, originally, we were gonna actually use an AMD board for this, but like I said, given that we went to a 14700K, it, I, it, if we could do a Z, I would. You know what I mean? Like I, all in all, like. That's there, this has the opportunity to do it. The one thing is, is that we could still get the full power of the KKF. We just don't get any of the, the overclocking and stuff like that. Um, if, if I'd recommend doing this and you wanted something that, you, I mean, most people don't overclock, so a B760M is gonna be totally fine. Um, but if, if you were gonna overclock uh, or anything like that, you may just wanna look for a Z-Series instead. Um, lastly, uh, we got DDR5. We're gonna use T-Force. This is 32 gigs of 6,000 mega transfer Team T-Force RAM. And then we've got a two terabyte NVMe, which is, you know, gonna give us enough, K enough room for most gaming. Okay, here we go, guys. Ugh. All that sort of stuff. Okay, so here we go. Throw our CPU in. I totally, totally uh, messed up that. We're gonna get zoom it way in so you guys can see this in its full glory, full CPU seating glory. There we go. I like it. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was nice. Ugh. Okay, we are in. Okay, let's see what happens here. She said 98. Oh, not even close, guys. That was a little mushy. That was a little mushy. I don't think we're getting 98. 96.1. Sorry, guys. No 98 today. Okay, guys, let's throw our M.2 in. There we go. Another awesome Q latch thing. Yeah, okay, so now we go, guys, opening up this ProArt LC360. So we're gonna get our we're gonna get our stuff installed for this. New AIO making its debut here. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, wow guys, look at this. It actually comes with, look. Look at this. We got Alpha Cool fans basically inside of this. Okay, here we go, guys. Just pulling this out. There it is, simple, elegant. Let's do the top. There it goes, pops right off, I love. Just makes it very, very easy to build in, which I like. Okay, so we're gonna, what we're doing right now is we're just putting in our fans.
Okay, so first one we're gonna do, top corner, plug in our rear fan. Over here, I'm gonna grab our USB-C. There we go. Okay, USB 3.2. Okay. Okay, that's how I wanna put it in there. Okay, cool. Those are some crazy fans. And look at, I mean, like they're machined. down there for now. Hold that right there for now. Okay, there we go. And then I think, like I said, I think our PSU is gonna be right here. It should be fine. There we go, all loaded up now. There we go. There we go, okay, there we go. All of our connections in. Unfortunately, we gotta move this one up here. This. We'll cover all that. Boom. And then of course on the inside here, guys, get that standard kind of Asus, that kind of standard Asus packaging. And then inside you have your cable. And then you have a card. And this card is a lot smaller than it kind, of, it kind of looks inside of the case here. And there you go, guys. That is it. That is a nice looking card. There we go. Boom. And there you go, guys. There's the card. Three fan design there. This is actually kind of more of a plastic too, so it's not metal, which is obviously gonna save a little bit in terms of cost. Okay. Look at that. That looks nice and good inside of that. There we go, first part. Oh, look. There we go, there we go. Easy. There is the full build, ready to go. Three, two, one, it's on. I see lights. Well, let's run CPU ID. You can even look now on the side here. Look at the look at the pump. Like the pump's telling you it's maxing out. Yeah, it's it's handling this no problem. It's keeping it right at 85. It's not it's not letting it go any. Oh, there it just got up to 86. But for the most part, it is. I mean, it is keeping this fan. And I mean, it's pulling air in from everywhere. Let me test real quick. Let's run Cyberpunk 2077.
again, look at that GPU temp sitting at 47, 41 degrees. This is maximum ray tracing. This is like pushing the GPU to see how warm we can get it. And then again, we're also doing ray trace. So this is overdrive ray tracing. And again, look at those GPU temps, 57, 58, no problem whatsoever with that cooling. Three fans, you know, you got three fans cooling that GPU. So again, if you wanted to do some overclocking, all that sort of stuff. And of course, Nvidia, you actually have their auto tuning as well as using their GP, their GPU tweak. And there you guys go, 59.68 FPS. Now, what? here's my recommendation, if you're really gonna play, set it to Ray Tracing Ultra, put it on DLAA. So go to DLSS, switch it to DLAA, keep frame generation on. This is the cleanest, the cleanest that uh, Cyberpunk 2077, and again, this actually uses the GPU quite a bit too, but this is raw, 1440p. We're using frame gen to get it above, but this has got up, uh, uh, AI anti-aliasing, which is another thing that is uh, unique to the um, the 40 series. Okay, so let's set it. This is let, let's just set it to the way that they meant for it to run. So here's DLSS running uh, balanced, uh, turning off frame generation. This is just basically here's your here's your run of the mill, the way that the CDPR uh, wanted it to be run. You guys go 88.22 frames per second, and as you can see. It's, it's running it perfectly well. So there you go. That is it. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Again, huge shout out to Asus for sponsoring today's stream. Uh, also, make sure you check out their brand new cards. They launch tomorrow. So if you guys wanna go check those out. Uh, also, AP201 and that brand new LC360 from ProArt. Man, this thing, very, very impressive. And we'll have our review, full review on that coming very, very soon. Have a amazing night and we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.